it's just a part of history coming back to Scotland where it belongs. So it's exciting for us as Americans to be part of that. Uh, the Stone of Destiny has nothing to do with Parliament. It's, uh, the Stone of Destiny is to do with our heritage as far as, as, far as the um, history of Scotland is concerned. The Stone of Destiny goes way back further than even the Kings of Scotland. We've been waiting for 700 years for the stone to come back. And uh, it's a symbol of our sovereignty as a nation. And I look forward to the sovereignty coming back in reality um, when we have our own parliament. Oh, what do you think of the turn of the stone there? Do you think that's a good thing? Uh, if, if it's looked upon as a step in the, the direction of recognising us as an independent culture, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I now, therefore, on behalf of Her Majesty the Queen, place the Stone of Schoon in the care of you, the Commissioners for the Keeping of the Regalia of Scotland. The continuation of this tradition is an essential element of the return to Scotland of the stone. And as Her Majesty Warrant states, it is our duty to make appropriate arrangements to ensure that at all future coronations in Westminster Abbey, the successors of Her Majesty as sovereigns of the United Kingdom shall be crowned seated upon the Stone of Destiny. <laughs>